hello 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 to everyone i wanted to do a video i'm gonna do a lot of videos geared towards ibo's and giving you all some tips um as entrepreneurs um i know it can be a lot but i want to kind of talk to ibo's a lot lately um one of the things i want to talk about today is how to balance your business as an ibo as you can see i have babysitters inc and i also have um another company called babysitters of charlotte and i have the call center with ibo with the rise and i also have a nonprofit. so i want to talk to you all about how you can balance your schedule um, either as are you if you're currently working right now and you're doing the call center so I want to talk to you about that so one of the things that you can definitely definitely do that will help you balance your work life help you balance your business help you balance um, your personal life is to make a schedule so um, a, a lot of times when I'm doing um, or I have certain goals I want to meet what I would do I would put a lot of stuff um, on a schedule so I'll do more so um, in my calendar because the calendar is really really important to use when you're setting appointments um, when you are doing certain things and just knowing what your schedule already looks like for example if you currently work right now and you know you're working from nine to five and the only time that you really have time to spend in your business is maybe before you go into work a couple of hours before and maybe when you get off and maybe on the weekend so what you would need to do is figure out what you need to do for your business and then you would need to place it into your schedule for when you are not working that nine to five. This is a helpful way um, to basically be able to grow your business while you are currently working. I know it can be a lot trying to grow a business and trying to um, work at the same time, but if you have a schedule, you will know, okay, on this particular day, I'm going to do this and on this particular day I'm gonna do you know marketing or I'm gonna do um, a hiring conference or whatever it is that you're you're needing to do in your business um, the second thing or the second tip that I would want to say is to have um, certain goals you need to reach or that you want to reach um, this is going to help you balance in addition to having that schedule so if you know say hey I want to meet this particular income goal or I want to meet this goal um, for my business have these goals right written down so write down your goals write down okay what you want to do and it needs to be you can reach short-term goals with short-term goals um, and business can be anywhere from the next day to the, to a week. Short term, long term is more so like six months to a year in a business. Um, but write those goals down. Um, and the Bible talks about how you need to write the vision. Um, so with that being said, it takes me to my third tip to being able to manage work, manage personal life, and manage your business. Put everything on your calendar. Um, I'm to the point now where um, before I started not putting things on my calendar, I would miss appointments. I would miss, I mean, it was not good. So the first appointment I missed um, was simply because I didn't have it on my calendar. But you can put everything on your calendar now. You can put everything on your calendar. What you can do is um, if you have an appointment, what I do, I use Calendly. Calendly allows me to send a link over to someone if they need coaching or if they just want to set up an appointment or even if they want to pitch me on a product that they're trying to sell me. I'm sending them a link because I know, even though I know I have a schedule on what I want to do that day, I can fit in time to be able to consult somebody and help them with their business or I can fit in something to be able to um, you know, take a quick coaching call or whatever it is I need to do. If it comes up and pop up on my calendar, okay, you got an appointment in 30 minutes, guess what? Now I know I have an appointment and I need to go to that appointment or hop on a conference call or hop on a, a Zoom call. And you can do this a lot with your um, call center. A lot of times um, you are um, basically not more so scheduling stuff but if you need to schedule like a time to talk because you're busy working or if you work a nine to five and you're still trying to build your call center um you can set on calendly you can set it up to where you can have your availability 
your availability is set on there. So if you work nine to five and you only can take appointments from five to 5.30, maybe while you are in the car, it's a good time to talk to people while you're in the car or you know, when you get home, you're not gonna be available. Just have it certain times when you are able to balance that out. That's how you balance your life, balance your personal life, balance your business life, balance your work life. So take those three steps. Um, schedule, have a schedule, put everything on the calendar. I'm telling you, this is going to help. I know it sounds like something simple, but putting everything on a calendar and making goals, making those goals and writing them down. Okay. Thank you all for watching this video and have a great one.